goodness. The wow effect. That's right. That's, that's the part I can't tell you about that's coming. The wow effect. The not wow the sm- effect. Not the not the talk talk. You know, we talk because you know, we're bored. <laughs> we're hey. bored. And so and, and so but you won't be bored because we're gonna bring all this hot stuff to you. Now speaking of that, Vic. Yes, sir. We got some guests tomorrow. Nicole's gonna be here with Jesse. Yes, sir. We're gonna have Nicole and Jesse. And if you guys tuned in last week, every time they come on, it's like a two parter series. You got Can You Sing, and then you got High Picks. And they've turned into this unique host co-hosting team. So, you know, you never know what you're going to get. So, hey, tune in, because tomorrow they're going to review some aspiring singers who are, basically, they're looking to say, hey, they need to take this evaluation we're giving them and use it to their best interest. But at the same time, there's, you know, Jesse and Nicole are kind of colorful. <laughs> so To say the least. <laughs> So, like my shirt. Wait, wait and, and, they're colorful like my attire. Th- thank you. Pax, peace. Yeah. Stereo, the peace. And wait peace. a minute. It's gonna be a unique situation because Tarquase Frazier will be your co host. So she's not uh, Oh, that's gonna be great. So right. I'm gonna have Tarquase tomorrow. Right. And you TK have, Right. TK Frazier. We gonna know we're not sure what we call her these days. <laughs> Big leg woman. Oh, that's cool. She fine. She you know you. she big leg. She's watching this show. She knows she got it. She know, hey, it ain't news to her. She said, judge me for my mind, not yeah, my body. Yeah, we're going to judge you by your mind. We're going to look at your legs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shit. She's she going to be on the show tomorrow. Well, it's nature. It's going to be hard because. Oh, with Jesse and with Jessie, Nicole. With, and I get to have Terquase. She's not ready for this. Oh, we're going to have fun. She and the, and the most beautiful smile. Right. Bringing that radiant person. I can't wait, Vic. Yep. I'm, you know, I'm going to dress differently tomorrow. I'd be a little. I'll, I'll do something a little more upscale, you know. I know how much y'all love you because I know my wonderful couture here. <laughs> You're right. It's such a statement as I'm so Californian, but I think I'll dress differently tomorrow because we're gonna have those special guests. Uh, that's something to look forward to, man. <laughs> and speaking of looking forward, yes. this is the part I look forward to every day. I know. It's time for new news sports. It's all about dressing up in drag sports attire and running around. Women wear jock straps, men wearing stuff too. Sports bras, cause y'all got man tits, and we're playing the sports. Uh, Why would anybody use man tits on an intro of a sports? Because segment? all the man tits out there, they know it's an epidemic of man tits. It's an epidemic. I don't it's an think, epidemic. I don't think anybody. Anybody relates. When you talk about football and sports, you guys do. Any of you guys think of man tits? Because they, no. Just tell them to look at their own. All they gonna do the max. Y'all know you eating too much. <laughs> okay. Eating too good. I know. Me too. That's why you got the man tits. But that's okay. We love you. I go- love you, and you know your woman loves you, and she she thinks they're they are wonderful accompaniment. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you're wonderful. <laughs> You're wrong. You're wrong, man. So there we go. There you go. Okay, you guys. Let me just go ahead and start you off with sports because, you know, not too much has happened uh, between the last couple of days. But we know yesterday we had what we call the Michael Vick showing, man. And I'm going to say this, Mario. The first quarter of the game, I know your face was broke. And when oh, I say that, man. I don't know. First of all, I can't tell you guys anything new that you didn't see already, right? So I'm not reporting something you already know about. All I know is that it was record-breaking. This dude, uh, he, he basically dominated the game by himself. First of all, the first play <laughs> of the game, right. touchdown pass, Deshaun Jackson. Done. Done. Now, Oh, what man, this, Vic, I just, okay. Terrible. I mean, for, you know, this, this, the guy was responsible for almost all the touchdowns as it relates to being in par- either quarterbacking, throwing, running. He had so much impact with doing less. He didn't have to do as much. Now, I'm not. This is Washington, so what does that mean? No defense or what? Well, no defense and just a wonderful day, too. No, but you can't ignore what was a record-breaking, stellar performance. When you see these kinds of things, really, the perspective is that they last a lifetime because you may never. In fact, the announcers say that. No one, as far as we know, right. have we ever seen that kind of a performance by a single individual Not across the realm of those parameters. We're talking about passing running what amazed me was his willingness to hang in there and not run and his wisdom and his decision making Vic right and that's my Vic not Michael Vic this is Victor (laughs) Allen (laughs) right but Vic right you know his choices so much better so much more mature patience let me just tell you guys the stats the the final score for those you don't know was Eagles 59 Redskins 28 
the 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 uh, Eagles led 35-0 in the second quarter. <laughs> Vic completed his first 10 passes and he finished 20 for 28 for 333 yards and four touchdowns. He ran eight times for 80 yards and two scores. That moved him past Steve Young into second place in the NFL history for yards rushing by a quarterback. The, the, you know, the, the message I think that came mm-hmm. here is that, you know, everybody's basically, no one saw this coming. Oh, yeah. As it relates to them saying, you know, he's going to be an older cat just using his legs. And when you score six TDs all oh, time yeah. and you and you generate history oh, from yeah. it, this is not this is not playing the Dallas Cowboys when they were under Wade Phillips. This is not playing Buffalo. This is not playing Carolina Panthers or San Francisco. This is a guy who basically, when you looked at what he was doing, it changed the whole scheme of their defense. You looked at Hainsworth. You looked at everybody. They are dropping back to say, look, we have to drop back because his, his arm, the part that most people were paying attention to is decision making and the part of his legs. But the part that I looked at is he has such a great delivery with that left arm. He has a bullet. It is so accurate that most people don't even look at how accurate he's throwing the ball. And that's a new thing as far as I'm concerned because the whole issue with his career has been his accuracy and consistency. He's been tremendously inconsistent. Right. Specifically as it relates to accuracy. Right. So these are all step-ups in a bunch of places. Patient, playing within the offense. Right. Looking like he has a command of the offense right. and, and exercising wiser choices, even though one could argue that rib injury was a reminder to him to make wiser choices. Right. And so he's doing that. Yeah. And here's the part that it gets me. Look, I'm not going – we're not uh, a, a victim of the moment right now. We, ju- we know progressively – this guy has a chance to go ahead and be one of the leaders as it relates to the MVP voting, even though he's missed some time in uh, other games. Okay, he may continue this pathway, but the threat, and you scheme against this guy, do you see a, a Pittsburgh, do you see a New England, do you see a New York Jets having greater and better success because they got better defensives? And, and I'm, I'm, I'm not even including the Ravens, the reason why. Because, I'm just going to say this, the Ravens have good defense. They don't have great defense like they used to. Pittsburgh has been already exposed by New England, so people can scheme against them as well. So you see the formula here. I said, so how do you scheme against a quarterback you don't get to practice against? Well, let me just say this, too. Different defenses have looked amazingly different on different days this season. I'm just going to say that. Right. Because it really has been a range. Hence, you know, Dallas and other folks. Right. But you wonder. You're going to get to see him now. That's right. They have some games left. (laughs) They got some games left. And they 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 got Dallas is in the conference. That's right. They got to play them. Uh, New York Giants, I think they may play them again. So I'm not worried about him as it relates to him having to carry the defense of the Philadelphia Eagles as well. What I'm saying is, is that give him an extra second like you give Tom Brady. Give him an extra second as it relates to Peyton Manning. When they operate, they operate on time and delivery. They have at max three seconds to sit back and scan the field, determine their, you know, their their progressions, and then go. This guy moves away from the pocket. Something like Tony Romo would do with Dallas, but more accurate, better, deeper threat. Right now. And he holds on. No, I'm saying this right, right now. now. I agree. But every game that he's participated in, he's either come back to bring the Philadelphia back either to win or make the game close. So, to me, I'm saying... No, I love it. I, I, I just look I, for consistency, remember? He's and being the, consistent. Well, well, yeah, like I said, remember now, it, to me, too. If he, it's, it all will come down to how long he lasts, too, right? Right, because he's they He's got to last the right. season. He's got to be... He's got to last the season... Right. ...to be impactful enough. And so that has to be part of the bag. If not, what will end up being, let's say he has a bunch of wonderful games and gets hurt and knocked out. Right. Then it becomes another one of these spectacle seasons where it leaves everything open to question and wonder again. Right. And that's why what long term for him to really get the greatness that to really achieve what we think is possible. He's got to be able to continue to play like he's playing. Right. Be consistent and most importantly, most importantly, Avoid injury so that he can put together a full season and postseason. Right. So we can see what he can do because you got to have it. If, like I keep saying, if he gets hurt 
and goes out before the postseason, then the whole way you look at this changes again. Well, I, look, it goes back to being was it a flash oh, and right. a pad or whatever. Well, see, I don't. The reason why I don't worry about the injuries because I look at Tom Brady, I look at Peyton Manning, and they really say you can tell what a quarterback his longevity is based on how many times he gets touched or close to being touched. Brett Favre goes through that a lot. He gets hit and touched a lot. With Mike Vick, you compare how many times people uh, the quarterbacks get touched. I looked at Brady over this last game, and somebody went down low on his legs, and I said, oh, guess what? They're about to re up that injury he had before because he doesn't move away well. That's well, why, that's why Vic is, Vic's choices are so important, right? Right. Because with his athletic skill, he can avoid. The, that's what he did in the game that we saw. Right. At times, he avoided the rush and right. moved to a different position to complete the pass, but the whole time thinking pass. That's right. And that was the difference. He really showed that. Man, and that was, and again, no, Vic, I'm rooting for him. Okay. I'm just saying these are my concerns, but these are the concerns that are going to be there no matter, no what, matter what. No matter what. But uh, certainly we got to commend him. And the other thing, no matter what, no matter what happens in the future, he'll always have that day, right. that night. Right. One of the most, if not, the most singularly impressive performance by any individual yep. football player that perhaps I have ever seen in my life. Yep. And for many people, it probably was the same. 71% completions of all his passes yesterday, which is very, very high. So here's the part. Here's the question. First question. Will the backup quarterback, Kevin Cobb, ever see another game to start, barring no injury by Michael Vick this year, Mario? No, but see, you had to add that, didn't you? Yes, see? I did. See, that's uh, what I'm saying. Injury always see, makes a condition. See, so no, that, see, this is where it gets back to. No matter what happens, you say Michael Vick, you take a breath, and injury is in the next sentence. Yeah. If. There's a big if. Mike, if, if. So we say the same thing, and I agree with you, and that's how important the issue is. Play like you played. Make the choices that you made. This, you know, the other, you know. Gotcha. And then you will survive, and we'll get to see that. Next up, here's the here's the I think we've already addressed this rating in which, you know, if 10 being best, the perfect percentage rating they have in the NFL. But if you had to rate Michael Vick's quarterback uh, efficiency and accuracy in his production yesterday, one to 10, what would you give? It has to be a 10. I know it's a standard by which all others are to be judged. Yes, it is. Okay, now going on to the next one. This is interesting because it's going to take us into the next subject. What do you think about McNabb's five-year, $78 million contract extension that was signed less than maybe 24 to 36 hours ago, based on the performance you saw against his former teammate? Don't have any problem with that. You know, let me just tell you, I I wanted to comment on that, because, and I'm so glad you brought that up. First of all, I think, one, it shows you how Shanahan is. Right. And how he comes at you. And he still did his thing, but looked at how Donovan weathered the storm. Yeah. Class act, dealt with everything. Right. Shanahan made him play the whole game. Of course. He played it. Yeah. No problem. Did his thing. Right. Ran the offense. That's the way, because you have to step up, and Shanahan pushes you. And so he did, but it shows you that also he proved it to them because by giving him that five year, $78 million contract with a get with a with forty million guaranteed. Yep. That tells you that that clip makes it clear right. that Mike Shanahan has decided that Donovan McNabb could be the centerpiece of his offense. This is a man right now who is actually 32 to 33 years of age. So five years makes it 38. So you see him being effective. at Yes, least I do, especially because my thing is because it's how smart he is. He like unfortunately he like Brett Favre is playing within a system that's inadequate, but he also knows Shanahan is going to make that system more than adequate. And watch when they get more of a running game. No, ladies and gentlemen, well, I'm betting on this one. I'm sorry, All right. I'm betting on this one. Shan-